So we run into an issue. Can't put a regular shower rod inside of the shower because it's angled. I was searching high and low to try to figure out who sell an angle shower rod for it. And if there's any ideas and I found absolutely nothing. Me Cause they don't care about people with angle settings. And the only thing I did find was buy a custom shower door. And those things like $600 a plus. I ain't got the bread right now to spend that on there because we ain't got no tenants in here just yet. I might decide to add a ladder, maybe not. <laughs> right now I'm about to create a shower rod for this one. It's super simple, probably cost like $25 around that. And it'll save me $550 or something like that. Since it's at an angle, what I'll start doing is just start looking for the pieces that actually make sense. Went to Amazon. We got just our standard adjustable shower rod right here. And I bought a couple parts off of Amazon. So these parts right here is actually for a curtain. Um, when you wanna make a custom curtain or you just got a long window that might have to hit a corner, you can buy these two angle pieces right here. We make sure we put everything down in the description so you can grab those. And I also bought this here. So you know, these actually screw into the wall like this here, but guess what? For our application, it's gonna be coming off the ceiling and angle. So let me show y'all what we work with. So we got our angle shower here. This is the alternative route. Those round pieces I was talking about, this is how you go and install those. Install those on the ceiling, where it'll go up like so. First thing I'm gonna do is take my measurement from here to here, how long I want my first pole to be. I'll go with 32, cause that's just an even number. I'm gonna actually measure, see how high I actually want the shower curtain to be. I just want it right above right before the top of the frame here. Cause you know water splash when it hit a person, so you want it up high so it'll prevent any water from coming out the shower. So in the same like six foot is good. So I come here and then you see six foot. It's about right here. So if I cut my pole, that's gonna be 32. And then I'm gonna put my first pole in first before I take my other measurement just so it can be precise. Well, let's go cut this pole really quick. So the standard shower, shower rod pole is gonna come in one piece, but you know it's adjustable so you pull it in and out. So you can go ahead and just separate these two pieces. And you see this part with the little adjustable, the adjustable piece on the end, I'm gonna actually use this part um, for the top piece. So this is gonna be last. So I'm gonna actually take my measurement off of this one here. So you can go ahead and pop that off. So you're not gonna need this end no more at least for this part. And then you're gonna go ahead and take your measurement. My measurement was 32. It's actually a metal pole. So I got my Milwaukee cut on two right here. And I'm about to use this to pretty much make my cut. All right, so grab your safety glasses. Safety first, you don't want this stuff to go in your eye. Got a Diablo blade in here. <clears throat> All right, so we got our first piece, and we're just gonna slide that in here. And then, got our first piece there, and then we're gonna take our angle piece here. Let's back out these screws. So depending on how thick your rod be, you might need these little plastic pieces that's in the inside of it, like little spaces or whatever. You know, it actually worked too. Um, no. So, the little plastic pieces that it come with in the inside, they actually fit over this rod and it'll get it a nice tight fit. It might prevent some water from getting in there too, so that might be good. So we're gonna push that on in there. Push that drain all the way in. And then we're going to take our second measurement. And the good thing about these pieces is that they come with screws for you to tighten these in. And they also come with the alley keys. So you want to go ahead and I'm going to tighten up this alley key back here just so this can be sturdy. Make sure it's straight, or somewhat straight. And then I'm going to take my measurement from here to here, my top pole. And then this is actually, the pole is gonna go in the inside of here. So you can measure into the inside. Don't measure it to the outside because then it's gonna be too short. Let's say I'm looking at about 19 and three quarters. That should be good. And I'll just double check the tape measure in the inside because I measured it on the outside. Okay. 
So we're gonna do 20 inches from here to here. All right, so for our second cut, we got our second pole. I'm thinking about leaving this adjustable piece on there, but we are gonna use one of these end caps on here. So 20 inches. These two pieces right here is actually like the same size, so we actually be able to see what this hand look like in there and then what just the regular pole look like in there. All right, so I'm gonna actually use this adjustable end and then I'm gonna cut off this little white piece in here, this adjustable white piece. So it's out about an inch, so I'm gonna cut an inch of it off. So y'all see now, since I use this adjustable piece right here, I'm actually able to twist it and tighten it up and it's definitely getting tighter. And bam, it's gonna be nice and solid. I don't recommend hanging on this joint now. Got a close up here. Now you don't have to use this end, you can use this pole too right here, but what you would have to do is wrap this end with electrical tape. So where it'd be thick enough to actually fit in the inside of here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this right here and then Probably might just spray this black so you can't see it. I like I like using it because it's actually adjustable and it lets you tighten this up to the wall, just like it would do in a regular shower ride. Now you got a custom shower ride. You don't got to spend all that money on the shower door. I'll show y'all the view from the other side. Now with this adjustable plastic piece in here, it fits in there perfectly. Um, and then what you want to do is tighten down these Allen keys because it will lock this piece right here in place and then it'll allow you to actually take this rod right here and twist it and adjust it. So boom, that's tightening it up. Y'all can hear that joint is solid. You twist it the other way and guess what? It'll unscrew and then you're able to move it, slide on the curtain or something like that. But if you actually want to take it out, you gotta take out them screws right there. Perfect fix. Everybody win, get your shower curtain and be happy. So y'all seen the end result? Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that description down there to grab those same pieces and create your shower ride. Y'all see the slight issue is with the shower curtain, of course you would have to do maybe like a quick sew to get that access off of the floor and sew it, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking about creating a custom angle shower curtain because they don't care about people with angle ceilings. So if you like this video, we DIY investors, man. We got tons of videos on real estate and how we do stuff. So don't forget to check out the other videos. If you're about your family and business like us, head over to artlife.com, pop you some shirts. If you're about your family and business, don't need to go to the website. Don't even waste your time. I don't need to waste your time, please.